after 50 years, 50 years plus in the real estate investment business, what would I do right now if I were starting over? Well, I would deal in a small specific investment area of 25,000. So I would identify my small specific investment area. In a city, this could be a couple of blocks. In a, in a rural area, this could be a whole county. But with 25,000 population, there should be enough properties for you to complete your plan of buying several properties. So I would become an expert. No, more than that. My goal would be to become the, T-H-E, expert on values and that small specific investment areas. What would I do? Well, I'd go online, find all the houses, I'd do all the uh, historical research. Here's the property, what did it sell for 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. This, this would all be motivating for me because you know, prices are gonna go up and up and up and up. So, I would go to every open house, I would meet all of the investors in the area. I would meet all of the agents who are specializing in investment real estate. I'd start meeting everybody as I went to these open houses. Then I would kind of focus in, since I'd be making my first purchase, on either a small studio condo or one bedroom condo. How much do they cost? Now, if I was buying this myself, maybe I could buy it with 3% or 5% down. So even if it was, if it was $100,000, it'd be three or $5,000. It was 200,000, it'd be six or six or $10,000 that I'd be saving and I would do whatever I had to do. I mean, if I were in my 20s or 30s or 40s, you know, come on, you can work 50 hours a week, 40 hours a week to pay your bills, 10, 10, 000, uh, 10 hours a week to add to your, uh, to your down payments. So this is what I want. I want to get that first property. I want to become an expert on values in a small specific investment area, a small property. And then when I know my values, then I can start making offers and I can get myself a good deal. Then I would move in and then within the next two years, my goal would be to buy my second property and then my third property. And then you know, you can stop there, or you can pay off those, or you can keep going. Because you have these wonderful people called tenants. I would keep my properties in top condition, and I would always treat my tenants, my investments are their home. So I would always keep them to a very high standard. What do you have to do? You really don't have to do that much more than that. I mean, we're really only talking about working, you know, in the beginning, maybe four, five, six hours a week to do all of this research. And even after you own these properties, I mean, once you have, and if they're condos, then, you know, there's very little property management involved if you take the care to find the right tenants. This is not going to be too tough, and you're going to be so, 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 believe me, you're going to be so happy in 10 or 20 years when you do this and you have this real estate portfolio and now you're starting to pay off that portfolio and these wonderful tenants are going to work every day and come back and give you half their money I mean come on you don't want to be in on this and and all that you'll be able to do for your community for your family for yourself providing quality housing you can do it so I mean it's going to be somebody so the obvious answer is yeah, why not you?